everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be making another type of Vietnamese noodle soup called bán canh. Bán refers to items like cake or noodles that they make from flour, and canh means soup. In some countries, you can buy the dried or pre-cooked bán canh noodle at the Asian store, but I can't really find here in Germany, so sometimes I buy the Japanese udon to substitute because uh, the Japanese noodong and the bán can look quite similar but sometimes I make it from scratch so in this video I will show you two ways to make the bán can noodle from scratch and then in the later part I will show you how to make two types of bán can which is bán can chả cá and bán can cua The final product will look something like this Let's get started Method number one, in a mixing bowl, mix one cup of rice flour, one cup tapio gas starch, half a teaspoon of salt with one cup of boiling hot water. Mix well with a spoon and when it cool down a little, knead with your hands into a soft non-sticky dough. When the flour has turned into a soft, nice dough, you cover and let it rest for about 30 minutes to reduce the strong flour smell. Next, sprinkle some flour on the working surface and then using a rolling pin to roll the dough flat. The flat dough should be around a quarter inch thick. Then cut into strips. The noodles should be as thick as a chopstick. About 3 inches long should be good enough. There you have it, freshly homemade bánh canh noodle. You can add it directly into the soup pot or cook it separately. The noodle for bánh canh can be made from rice flour, tapioca flour, and sometimes wheat flour, or a mixture of those. The recipe is very flexible, you can adjust the ratio to your preference. Use more tapioca flour if you like chewy noodle, use less if you want it softer. For the second method, you mix 1 cup of rice flour with 1 and a half cup water. Also add 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil and half a teaspoon of salt. Then microwave for about 2 to 3 minutes until the flour mixture is like half cooked and still a little liquidy. Then add in 1 cup of tapioca starch and stir well until well combined. The flour mixture will have a consistency of porridge or something like that. To make bánh can from this, I'm gonna use a special tool. Well, this is originally a tool to mash potatoes and baby food. But I bought it for none of those purposes, but rather to make bánh can, and it works really well. So I transfer the flour mixture into the potato riser, and then press gradually and continuously to release the noodle into the pot of boiling water. If you don't have a potato riser like this, you can use a piping bag or a thick plastic bag and cut out a small hole at the tip and then press to release. The noodle is cooked when it's float to the surface, then transfer to a bowl of cold water and then drain. If you want, you can also skip this step and press the noodle directly into the soup pot later. Bánh canh is apparently the most versatile among all the Vietnamese noodle soup dishes. The soup base you can cook from anything like pork, chicken, fish or a crabs. And the topping you can put fish cake, a shrimp balls, mushrooms, Vietnamese ham, whatever you like. So today we are making bánh canh chả cá, the bánh canh with fish cake and bánh canh cua which is uh, bánh canh with crabs. For any kind of bánh can, we always need coloring oil from anato seeds. So let's make it. Heat half a cup of oil and then add the anato seeds 
and fry until the oil turns into a light red color. Do that for just 30 seconds on medium low heat and then stain oil and discard the seeds. To cook the soup base for ban can, bring water to boil and then add pork bones and cook for about 5 minutes. Then jump out the whole pot and wash the bones well under cold water to clean all the impurities. Then transfer the bones into a clean pot filled with water. Add one peeled onion and salt. Then cook on medium heat for about one hour, occasionally skim up the foam. Then add seasoning powder, salt and fish sauce to your taste. Then add our freshly homemade banca noodle and cook until done. After that, add in fish cakes and coloring oil. Finally, transfer to serving bowl, garnish with chopped spring onion or Vietnamese mint raw rum, and serve. To make bánh canh cua, we also need the pork broth like we cooked earlier, and some extra ingredients like crab meat, crab chunks, and prawns. Season these seafood ingredients with salt, pepper, fish sauce, and red shallots and then set aside for 15 minutes. Next, in a pan or a wok, fry chopped garlic and shallot until fragrant, and then add the crab meat and prawns and stir fry until cooked. Add in some coloring oil for a nicer color. When it is done, transfer to a bowl and set aside. Next, in a large pot, heat some vegetable oil and then toss in the crab chunks. Stir fry until the crabs turn into orange color. Then add in the pot broth or a chicken broth. Bring to boil and season to your taste with seasoning powder, salt and fish sauce. You can add the ban can noodle directly into the pot or cook it separately. It's a transfer into the bowl, top up with the crab meat and prawns and then garnish with some spring onion or Vietnamese mint, some more coloring oil. So we are done! Unlike other noodles, ban can can be eaten with a spoon and it goes really well with some fried breadsticks. So I hope you get an idea now how to make ban can at home and you will create your own version of it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.